Is your day too structured? For most people, I think that is true. So I want to talk in this video about how we can have some structure, but not veering into that area where our day is overly structured, because that can be unhelpful, as we'll talk about. Ideally, what we're looking for is a balance between structure or discipline, you could even call it, and spontaneity. Those are the two masculine, feminine energies that we're trying to kind of integrate or find cooperation between. In terms of our day, you know, our goals or even our self-parenting or our productivity, whatever you want to call it, I have found that many, many people are really way too oriented or stuck in the masculine aspect, which is to be overly structured. This looks like a lot of planning, a lot of detailed planning, uh, a lot of like you, you, you'll notice there could be a timetable and it's from when they wake up to when they go to sleep. Everything is sort of regimented and laid out plan right now what i have found is i i can understand where that comes from because planning itself is really a coping strategy it 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 it's designed to kind of help us relax usually if we feel overwhelmed it's that need to kind of find order we go to uh plans however i have noticed almost you know invariably to be honest really the vast majority of those plans fail to materialize in action and the, the real kicker with that is that you can also have this experience of guilt when those things are not done, those plans are not adhered to. So, and there's also, the big problem with that is there's no room for spontaneity. And spontaneity in our culture is something that is really not understood at all in terms of the psychological benefits of it. And it's really undervalued it's underestimated. We think, ah, spontaneous, spontaneity, that's kind of a nice sounding idea. It's a bit childish, maybe. It's for, maybe when I retire, I'll be spontaneous. But that's a big mistake because spontaneity can make us incredibly effective in our life. It's, it's really essential. So what I advocate for is, because these, these overly rigid masculine thing uh, tends not to work, it breaks down anyway, we have to incorporate the, the spontaneity or the feminine aspect too. Now, what we're looking for is a balance between. So is it a 50-50 balance where half of my day is structured or and half of my day is more spontaneous with less rules? I have actually found that we need some structure but way less than we think. And I'm not just speaking from personal experience here. I'm speaking from having having tried this and worked through this uh, with clients and gotten feedback, it's actually kind of that 80-20 thing again, you know, that distribution, that 80-20 thing of 20% of our day being structured or goal-oriented or maybe even planned or has an agenda around it. And then 80% of the day being more spontaneous, open. Now, the thing people misunderstand about the spontaneous aspect of our day Spontaneity doesn't necessarily mean doing nothing. It just means there's no agenda. It means an openness to feel into a more intuitive operating system that's going to direct your behavior and your decision making as opposed to rigid rules or that are that are laid out for us like this. Now, without the masculine, let's say we fail to follow through with the masculine part. The feminine part, the spontaneous part, will be less effective, much less so. So I'm not saying we throw out the masculine part at all here. I'm saying we need both to cooperate with each other. Now, when we have that and we adhere to the masculine part and we actually follow through with that, and it should be doable and manageable because it's going to be way less than we usually think, uh, we, we usually demand of ourselves, this 20%. When that is adhered to and that's met, this spontaneity opens up and we become way more open to this intuitive guiding um, decision-making process. And so the, today's video is really about questions to ask yourself. 
are my days overly structured? Or you can even ask yourself, are, are my days completely lacking structure entirely? Which is another sort of mistake. We do need some structure. And then you could ask yourself the question, what's the balance between the masculine and feminine, the structured, spontaneous, spontaneous part of my day like? And what would it be like if I was to play around with maybe reducing the, the structured part, still having it, but maybe reducing it, and being more open to stepping into that uh, intuitive spontaneity? Because I found that to be way more effective in general. So guys, I hope that's useful. Um, don't underestimate the effectiveness that you will have in your performance, in, in your goals, in, in, in meeting your needs when you're operating from that spontaneous, you can call it mindset or that frame. Um, I have found it to be really life-changing. I hope that was a useful, uh, insightful video. And if you enjoyed it, if you found it useful, um, helps me a lot if you can like the video or if you haven't already, if you subscribe to this channel, it helps me reach more people and thank you everybody who has liked and subscribed to this channel it means a lot to me and it's greatly appreciated take care of yourself and i will talk with you again in the next video